This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Nick Randall from CSM who's going to show us their river test scratch tester. Thank you Cameron. So, do you want to bring it over? So this is the River Test Express, which is our quality control line of instrumentation. Uh, what is particularly special about this is that it's based on our world-renowned River Test Scratch Tester, but this is a simplified version specifically for industry. What does that mean? It means that at a touch of a button, you can scratch your sample and look at the scratch data immediately on a touch screen, but you don't have all of the PC and electronics that we had before with our full systems. This means we can reduce the cost and it means it's a very cost-effective system. Um, as you're seeing now, we just approached our diamond indenter to the surface. This is a um, typical sample. It's a titanium nitride coating on steel with a thickness of about two or three microns. Um, we're doing a progressive load scratch up to 50 newtons and we're trying to see at what load the coating delaminates. What load do we actually have failure of the coating? Um, so the scratch is just completing now. Once the scratch is complete, we're going to unload the indenter and the sample will then move under the optical microscope, which is integrated into the system. So the point of this is to be able to correlate what we see under the optical microscope with the data set on the screen. And if we just wait a few seconds, it's saving the data, across comes the sample. Okay. And in a few moments, we shall have the scratch in front of us. So as you can see, we're now looking at the data set. This is acoustic emission, and we see a jump in the acoustic emission where we had brittle failure of the coating. Now if I click anywhere along here, it will go to that position along the scratch. So we're correlating the length of the scratch with where we are. So I can actually search along here and look for failure. Here we can see sporulation along the side of the scratch. And what's interesting is we see that the onset of acoustic emission um, signal correlates with some deformations on the side of the scratch track where we start to fail the coating. So this is basically the data. And then we, once we've selected our zone, we click on LC1, that's critical load one. And we can say this coating fails at 33.36 newtons, for example. And that's the basic test. So for industry, they're not concerned with a lot of bells and whistles. They just want a simple tool. They can put their sample on, do a simple test at a technical level, and get a number. And the quantitative number is how you can compare between different types of coating, different kinds of process, and improve your process control. All right, Nick, thanks for your demonstration. Thank you.